Hello, my beautiful planty people, and how are you doing today? I feel so much better today. I can't even explain how much better I feel. So first things first, thank you guys so much. You guys are so incredibly kind to me. I don't deserve it. <laughs> but thank you so much for all of you who wished me well. Um, I don't know what is what it is that took me out, but whatever it was, it knocked me on my butt for like two solid days. Um, and I'm feeling much better today. So, here I am. <laughs> Yay. I got my Timmy's coffee. Canadian, eh? Um, and today, I wanted to show you some stuff. I got some videos coming up. I got all kinds of things planned. But today, I wanted to show you some updates on some stuff uh, that I've been propagating and some stuff that I'm gonna save till the end that I think you're really gonna be interested in seeing. So make sure you hang out until the end. Um, yeah, and then I also have a update on my grow tent coming up. Um, there's been some, you know, like tips and tricks that I've kind of like learned and things that I've had to tweak. So it's been a really fun, cool learning experience with my Mars Hydro grow tent. So that video is coming up. I also have a video on shingling and climbing. Every single time I film, I get the hiccups. What is the deal? I also have a video coming up on shingling and climbing plants um, and kind of like what's the difference between those. Um, I'm also going to come up and do some more uh, my top five videos. I also am going to try to put together my entire philodendron collection video, but I have a feeling it's going to be a really long one. So let me know if you guys want to see that. There's a lot of phyllos in this house, so I have a feeling it's going to be like a long video. Anyway, <laughs> enough rambling. Let me introduce myself for those of you who are new. Hi, hello, my name is Nikki. This is my channel, Plants, Pots, and Whatnots, and for my gluttons for punishment who keep coming back for more. I love you guys, you're the bestesses. <laughs> Anywho, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take a look at some of my propagation updates, and I'm pretty jazzed to show you some of these. We're also gonna take a look at my um, little moss versus water versus perlite experiment and see how that's going and then uh, again remember to stay around to the end because I have something super cool to show you that I'm very excited about if you couldn't tell okay let's just go and do it <laughs> get into her. So, I don't even know where I want to start. Let's, let's start with my varicosum. So I cut those a few videos ago. I can't even remember. I can't even remember how long ago it was. I don't know. I find, for those of you who work from home, does like one day just mush into the other and you literally have no idea what day is what? Especially for those of you guys who um, do YouTube. Um, full time especially I just I don't know what day is what anymore and I can't I just can't like I I believe today is Thursday if I don't have something like planned for a certain I have no idea anyway okay so the first so there's two per pot when I potted these um, so here's two of them in a pot this older leaf I find varicosum when you cut them um, it's kind of a 50-50 on whether the leaf that's already on it, I find their leaves a little bit more delicate. So I find when I cut these, sometimes the leaves will hang out and sometimes they won't. However, so this one's doing okay. Um, it's got a little crispy bit at the bottom there. Um, but it's looking okay. And the cooler part is, let me see if you can see any roots. Oh boy, can you ever. Okay, let's see if you can see this. At the bottom there. <laughs> Woo! So I'm going to probably have to pot one of these guys up. I don't like leaving them. And this is one of the questions I get a lot. Like how do I know like when to take it out of spag and put it in soil? Um, I say wait until the roots get 
at least three to four inches long, in my opinion. Um, also, I like to wait until it's showing signs of new growth. So if I had to guess, I would say it's probably this plant that has this crazy long root. There is a new little leaf growing right here. Uh, so that plant, if that's the root system for that plant, I'd probably be comfortable planting that one in soil. Um, the longer you leave them in a medium other than the, the medium that you're going to be growing it out in your collection in, um, the more the roots will have to adjust. So I don't like to leave it in like water for too long and let it get used to like water roots and then switch its whole game, you know? Anywho. Um, these are both looking pretty good. This one, even with the cruddy leaf, has some new growth. Let's see if you can see that right here. So, so far so good. Even though it's not looking the greatest, it is growing, so I think we're doing okay. So that... <laughs> Seriously. So that is the first one. So here is the second one. So you can see this one is doing much better. Both plants are. We've got a little bit of browning here on the leaf, but this leaf is looking pretty good. We also have new leaf here and a new little teeny tiny leaf right here. Um, and there is lots of roots in this one. See them down there at the bottom and over here as well. So these two I would feel comfortable just taking out of there and putting right into soil. So I will probably do that soon as well. So, so far so good for those two. Okay, what do I wanna show you next? Oh, this one's really cool. Okay, so this is one that I got from an Instagram friend of mine, Cami, And it just came, I think there was one leaf when I got it. So this is an Anthurium, Balanoanum? Bal I know I'm saying that wrong. You know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, so I think it just had this leaf when I got it. And then it grew this leaf here. And now it's got this teeny tiny little leaf. Look how cute. Isn't it adorable? It's just teeny. Uh, so that one will grow and get at least as big as this one. Um, but it's doing really well. It's nice and healthy. We don't have any roots out of the bottom yet. But if I had to guess, I would say the root system is fairly decent on this guy. So I'll probably leave him for maybe another couple weeks and then I'll probably go ahead and pot him up into a nice, chunky, airy mix. But it's doing really good. I'm so happy. Okay, next plant. Okay, this is the other one that I got from Cami and I'm like super excited about this. So this was my number one wish list plant and this is the Monstera um, Esqueleto, formerly known as Epipremnoides. So when I first got it, it had this teeny tiny little leaf right here. And this is its new leaf. Look, look, a fenestration. One fenestration. <laughs> and it has another leaf on the way. I am so excited. Um, it grew a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Um, so I just recently took it out of its spag bag because um, I want to try to get it to adjust to a little less 100% um, humidity kind of situation so that I can slowly like move it into my collection here soon. Um, but it's doing really well and I'm really excited. So happy with the progress this guy has made. He's doing awesome. So happy. <laughs> okay. So the next one I wanted to show you is a Hoya. So this is a Hoya that I got from my friend Paula. And this is a Hoya that I know like a lot of people are trying to get their hands on. Um, it's not easy to track down. And if you do happen to cross one, they're, they can be a little pricey. So this is a Hoya Heshkliana. Heshkliana, I think I'm saying that right. So this is a variegated one. And the leaves, when they get sun stressed, will get this gorgeous, like, pinky red. Um, so it's got two new leaves on this one and two new leaves on this one. It's doing really well. It's got roots coming out. You can see that here. Can you see those little roots coming out? 
Anyway, it's doing really well. So this guy I can probably go ahead and pot up very shortly here. Um, so I'll probably have a day where I'll just go through and pot a bunch of the plants that I have in my greenhouse. Um, let me know if you guys want to see that. I don't know if you guys want to see something like that or not. I never know. Like I do a lot of things like during the day and I was like, should I be filming this? Would they want to watch this? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, so let me know. If you want to see that, then I will most definitely do that for you. Okay, moving along, I have a couple more and then our experiments and then the really cool thing. Okay, so this is one that I got from a subscriber uh, in a trade. And this one is one, it's an unidentified um, philodendron. But from what I understand, this plant shingles, it will shingle. Um, so it kind of looks like a Brantianum, but it's not. It gets this like peachy, silvery hue to the leaves. It's really, really pretty. When I first got it, it just had these two leaves on the bottom. Um, and as you can see, it has grown like substantially. Block my face out there. Um, it's doing really well. It's got lots of little aerial roots on the back there that are ready to cling on to something. This aerial root on the front has actually stuck itself to this leaf. Um, so, so this is definitely one that I'm going to have to get potted up soon um, because the roots on it are a little cray cray. So it's time for her. So I'm pretty excited about that. It has grown so well. So. Kelly, if you're watching, look, I didn't kill it, and it's doing well. Yay! <laughs> okay, next one I want to show you is over here. Oh my. So, if you guys recall, I cut my philodendron mame, I don't think it was even quite a month ago, and this is one of the cuttings. It's doing really well. It's got a new growth point already. Um, I find mame grows really, really well, uh, especially when you do the old spag bag method. Um, I've never experienced kind of what I experience with varicosum, where their leaves kind of will um, either melt or they'll yellow and die off. Uh, mame's leaves are much more sturdy and they just hold up a lot better. So that is the first one there. So it's got two leaves and then this new growth point. And then these two. Ugh. Oh boy. Upside down, upside down. Don't get stuck. Oh boy. So there's this one as well and he's doing great. You can see how like how healthy he looks and everything. He's doing wonderfully. Uh, there is no new growth on this guy just yet. Um, now this one was the top cutting um, and these were like mid cuttings, um, but it's still doing really well. It still looks super healthy. There is no yellowing or anything like that on there. So Mammy's a really good one. So if you have one and you're scared to cut it because you're not sure if they're going to make it, don't be scared. They will be fine. <laughs> Go ahead and shop her. Look how pretty they are. I just love them. And then this was the last one. I think this is the biggest leaf, actually. So there is the last one. Looking pretty good. It does have some like spotting right there that looks like it's a pest, but there is no pest in here. So I'm not really sure what the deal is there. But it's good. Anywho, so those are my three philodendron mammae, all doing really, really well, looking super great. So soon I'll be able to, um, I haven't checked the roots of these guys yet, but if I tug, like there's a lot of resistance there. So if I had to guess, I'd say that the roots were developing rather well and they've probably kind of sunk themselves into that moss. Okay, let me get these guys away and then I will show you I think we're on to our experiments actually, so that's pretty exciting. I'll be right back. Okay, so this was the big top cutting that I took off my Philodendron Varicosa Melodichrysum. Um, that was the newest leaf when I cut it. It's looking great still. It's so pretty. Uh, this was uh, the oldest leaf from that cutting, still looking good. 
and you can see here that we have a new leaf coming out there. Now, I think I might switch this to moss actually. Water just ain't doing it for me. <laughs> so let me show you the roots. Like we've got a tiny little bit of root growth there, but this is nowhere near what I would normally get if I was propagating in moss. So, sorry water. <laughs> Uh, but that is not the experiment one. That was just the top cutting that I decided to propagate in water. And I will probably, probably be switching this one to moss very, very shortly because it's just not happening for me. Okay, let's take a look at the experiments. Before I show you, if you watched the last one, I don't know if you have, but which one do you think is pulling ahead right now. Do you think the perlite, the water, or the moss? I'll give you a second. Go type it. I'll have a sip of my rum and eggnog while I wait. Tis the season. Also, are you an eggnog fan? I know eggnog is one of those things you either love it where you despise it. So which one are you? I'm curious because I love eggnog, especially when it is mixed with a spiced rum. It is delicious. And this new eggnog that we got, we found this gingerbread eggnog and it is delicious. It's just got that extra like spiciness to it. It's lovely. Okay. Have you written everything you need to? Okay. So let's start off with water because that one's the easiest to look at. Um, and as I suspected, I'm not a huge fan of water propagating aeroids, to be honest. Um, we have absolutely no root growth at all. Um, now this new little leaf that was just barely starting when I put it in here has started to grow got some build up on it. Ew! Um, anyways, so it has started to grow this new little leaf. However, I need roots. I need roots and I'm not getting roots. So, I don't know. So far, so not good with the water one. So how long have we been doing this for? Has it been a month? I think it's been about a month. So four weeks since we started this. So in four weeks, um, zero roots on the water propagation. Next one I've got sitting here is the spag moss. And I don't know, this one looks like it might be a fail too. No roots on the spag moss propagation. Interesting. Although these are not bagged either. So maybe what I'll do is I'll go ahead and bag all three of them and we'll see if that makes a difference. Um, with the high humidity, I have a feeling it might because this just isn't doing it. It's just not. Okay. Now the last update I did, the perlite was ahead with a new little white root. So let's go ahead and check what it's doing now. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Okay, let me just try to get some of the perlite knocked off here. So, not only is that root that we saw last time growing like crazy, look how long that root is. It's also got some other little new roots growing. Guys, I'm shook. I'm shook. It's doing well. Maybe I'll just end up putting those ones in perlite. I don't know. I don't know guys, I'm telling you. I was not expecting that. Still surprised. I thought maybe that last little update was like a fluke, but um, it's not looking like a fluke. Okay, so that is those three. So that's pretty exciting. What do you guys think of that? Let me know. Are you surprised? I'm still surprised. I thought the other ones would at least grow a little bit of root by now, but um, not so much. Okay, now we have made it to the end. 
Let me show you. Let me show you. Do y'all remember this? Do you remember that video? <laughs> With me going like, <sighs> okay, so. Oh my gosh, so excited. So I took this plant out just to kind of show you and be like, guys, I think I screwed up. It's not gonna do anything. I think I cut the note at the wrong spot, blah, blah, blah. And then I looked down and freaked out. Okay, let me show you. If I can get it up there and show you. Okay, it is right there at the end of my fingertip. Do you see that? Do you see it? That's a new little growth point. Oh my God. So happy. Legit lost my marbles. And I have so many people ask me like, how's your variegated bilati doing? How's your variegated bilati doing? And I'm like, it's not good. I think I screwed up. So now when people message me and say, how's your variegated billet idea? I'll be like, it has a new growth point. I didn't kill it. Yay me. <laughs> anyway, so I love that. I was so, so excited to see that. Um, yeah. So that was my exciting update. At least it was exciting for me. So which plant out of today's little show and tell of my propagations do you did you like the best i would also if you've made it this far you guys are my troopers um it was really fun to see from the last video how many people actually watched all the way through to the end because as you know or if you don't um the longer you're able to watch a video the better it is um and it boosts me in the algorithm which pushes my videos out to more and more people um, which obviously is a huge help for my channel um, so thank you guys so much for my friends till the end of the video, <laughs> um, for putting that little green heart emoji. That was great to see. There was a lot more of you than I expected. Um, so if you've made it this far, I want you to go ahead and because we actually have some growth on this, I want you to put that little celebration emoji with the little hat and the little like poo thing. <laughs> go ahead and throw that down in the comments. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much all I had for you today. I'm hoping this video was short and sweet. I don't think it was too, too long. Yay, which is unusual for me. But I'm gonna go hang out with Jordan because he is off tonight, so we're gonna have a couple rum and eggnogs, we're gonna have some finger foods, and just like totally chill. So, I would like to thank you guys all so much for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It is a huge help to my channel and I really do appreciate it. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. Also, if any of my videos you think you have somebody who may enjoy watching them as well, please share my videos. It's uh, another really, really great way to, um, to help me out and help my channel grow. And uh, I know that we have kind of slacked on the 5K video. It's like we're almost at 6K now, so I don't even know. Maybe I'll just like hold off and do like a big shabam for my 10K. I made this totally unrealistic goal. I said to Jordan the other day, I was like, like we're gonna be up at 10K soon. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, maybe we can make it to 10K by February. And he's like, Nikki, that's like, and I was like, I don't know. I mean, if you don't set big goals, you'll never achieve big goals, right? I don't know. Anyways, but you guys can help me do that. And if you did that, I would be so appreciative. Not that I'm not already, because I'm appreciative that you even watch my videos and my mind is blown and I'm totally rambling now. <sighs> Bless you for those of you who are still here and listening. If you're still here and listening to my ramble, go ahead and put like, what, what emoji? Go ahead and put the sleeping emoji <laughs> if you're still listening to my ramble. Okay. Anyway, I will let you guys go. I love you all to bitty bits. I want you to have a great day, night, week, month, and year. Go enjoy your weekend. I love you. Mwah.